Today we're going to take this wedding photo and apply a colorful special effect. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. If you'd like to follow along with the same image I'm using, I've included a download link in the description. The first thing we're going to do is draw out a rectangle on this image. So let's grab our rectangle tool down here at the bottom left, and then click and drag to make a nice big rectangle. Next, I'm going to grab the move tool, which is this black arrow up here, and click on this circle to rotate the rectangle. We want to make it 45 degrees, and you can make sure it's exactly 45 degrees by holding down shift. So hold down shift, make it 45 degrees, and then release. Now we're going to move this rectangle to up here in the corner, and then we're going to duplicate this rectangle by holding down Alt or Option and clicking on the rectangle. This will allow us to duplicate the rectangle. If you hold down Alt and Shift, you'll make a duplicate rectangle that stays perfectly in line with the original rectangle. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and then hold down Alt and Shift and make another rectangle. And I'll make this one a little bit bigger. All right, I think that will be good for this tutorial. If you want to add more rectangles, that's fine, but just to keep this tutorial short, I'm only going to do three. The next thing we're going to do is put our background image inside of these rectangles. I'll show you what this looks like. If I just click and drag on this image, so it's down and to the right of one of these rectangles, it will be clipped to inside of that rectangle. So that's the effect we're going for, but I'll undo that by pressing Command or Control Z. And then I'm going to duplicate this image by pressing Command or Control J, J as in jump, and I'll duplicate it twice so I have three background images to go inside these three rectangles. Now I'm just going to click and drag this image down and to the right of a rectangle, and then take this one down and to the right of the next rectangle, and do the same with the last one. Now we have three rectangles with images inside each rectangle. We have a transparent background right now, but I want to make a white one, so I'll grab the rectangle tool again, and then click and drag a rectangle going across the entire image. Right now, it looks like our rectangle is clipped to the inside of this other rectangle, so I'm going to open it up by pressing on this triangle over here, and then take this rectangle layer all the way down to the bottom. Now it's in our background, and we have a beautiful white background. The last thing we need to do is apply the color to make this colorful special effect. And to do that, we're going to use Curves Adjustment Layers. So let's start up on this top rectangle by clicking on the background image, and then coming down to your Adjustments icon, and scrolling down until you see Curves. Normally, Curves is used to make it brighter or darker. I guess I'll move this to the side so you can see a little bit better darker or brighter, but we can also use colors in the curves. So down here where it says master, I'm going to change that to red and then bring the reds up. Then I'll just exit out of the curves and I'll close up this rectangle and then come down to the second one and do the same thing. I'll click on the background, then open up my adjustments, come down to curves, and I'll go to red again this time, except this time I'll take red out of the layer, which makes it kind of turquoise. Then I'll exit out of the curves and do the same thing with the last one, open up the rectangle, click on the background image, come down to my adjustments, select curves, and this time I'll go to the green channel and maybe add some green into there. And there you have it. We have just applied a beautiful color special effect. You can do the same thing by adding more shapes and more colors
to make the special effect just the way you want it. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new tutorial every Saturday, so hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.